Bjorn, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Oh my God. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Vikings and we are on season four, episode three. This one is called Mercy. All right, so if you have not watched the last episode, click right up here, go watch that one with me, and then come back and watch this one with me, my friends. I am so excited to continue Vikings. I love this show. Um, yeah, the last episode, oof, unfortunately, uh, Helga's daughter passed, which was really sad. Um, and they caught Floki. So I'm really curious to see what Ragnar plans to do with Floki. Um, I don't know. Also, Bjorn was just like out in the wilderness. So I'm wondering if we're going to see uh, more of him and just see how he's doing. Um, but yeah. I'm super excited, so let's get started. Mm, I filled it up a bit. Grab your coffee, your water, your tea, your snacks, and uh, let's get going. I'm excited. Let's go. By the way, I just love this new opening. If I haven't said that yet. Yeah, there's Floki. Oh yeah, that's right. I was wondering last episode if he was just gonna leave him in there to die, or um, if he's going to kill him. Like, what is he? You know, what's his plan? That was a that was an interesting. What do you call it? Juxtaposition, switcheroo. So her in a call. Is that his name? Are getting along, it seems. All I ever really wanted was you. I hope and I dream that we can have a child together. I wonder if she even wants another child. Um, oh wait. She can't have kids, right? Wasn't that like a whole thing in the first season or second season? Like they tried for a long time. I wonder if she's going to tell him. Bjorn Lothbrok has left Kattegat. He's living alone in a hut this in the guy. interior. It will be a perfect opportunity to assassinate. Serious? See? See? I always said. I thought we came together to destroy the family of Ragnar Lothbrok. I always said I do not trust this guy. I agree. It is the perfect opportunity. And I also know the perfect man for the job. Is he playing him or is he really going to try to kill Lagatha's son? I'm getting a very bad feeling. There's Bjorn. Still out there. They're coming for you, Bjorn. Maybe. Gotta be careful. I wonder how long he's been out there at this point. I don't even know. Wait, who is the what is that Helga? What is she doing? Oh, she's catching the water so it doesn't torture him. Oh, poor thing. Look what you did, Floki. You fucked up your life. All because you were jealous. Well, somewhat. 
I do really think he, I think it was both. I think he um, was jealous of Ethelstan. That was very clear. But I also think that he did believe that he saw a sign from the gods. But I think it was more he was jealous. Who is that? Here is some protection. This was my father's dream. However you do it, kill Bjorn Ironside. He's actually going to try to have Bjorn killed? I hope he's just playing him. Because if he really loves Lagatha, why would he try to kill um, her uh, son? Maybe he thinks that um, she won't find out that it was him. I don't know. Oh, there's Rollo. Oh, God, I almost didn't recognize him. God, he just... It's so weird. The Saint Ulali. Who is the fist? I wonder if Rollo and his wife, Gilia? Giz Gizla? Gizla? Have a... Uh, consummated the marriage. I'm assuming no. I figured they would have kind of shown that in the show. She was left alive in the pyre. Her flesh totally untouched. Oh. And what did they do to her? It's like Daenerys. My sweet daughter asked what happened to Eulalia. She was beheaded. Well, that's awful. And here's Rollo. My husband is just, just like that pagan emperor. He'd probably like to destroy me in the same way by burning me alive or cutting off my oh, head. Oh boy. Is that why she was saying that? Woman. My woman. Don't okay, yeah, they haven't me. consummated. Don't ever touch me, you ignorant savage! Ooh. <laughs> Rollo? Get feisty. I want a divorce. Got a feisty one there, Rolo. Definitely got a feisty one. <laughs> oh, he's pretty feisty too, though. If he leaves now, it will be catastrophic for our attempts to defend the city against his brother. Try and tell him. Is he leaving? He can't really leave. He, like, killed all his fucking people. You know? <sighs> Women. <laughs> Just kidding. Am I right? No. <sighs> we can be interesting, men. We can be interesting. And complicated sometimes. Yo. <laughs> With the chicken or whatever. Oh, he wants to read? I understand. Uh, learn. You want to learn. You want to speak our language. Correct. I will find you a teacher. Well, he will stay. So I'm so she I'm assuming has not told him. Oh, there's Ragnar. You haven't told him, have you? Nope. He needs to know, Helga. You haven't told me. Our daughter is dead. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> Bjorn. 
They're coming for you. Well, he's coming for you. The big guy. Please be careful, Bjorn. Please be careful. Bear. Bear or the big guy? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Which one? I mean, how long is he gonna stay out there for? I shall introduce you to the making of pigments used to illuminate Holy Scripture. Well, I'm glad he's teaching her. Tell me what you know about the recent attack on Paris by the Northmen. I have already heard many details of the siege that many of the pagans who entered the cathedral of Notre Dame afterwards were struck down by disease. Their leader was the famous Viking, Ragnar Lothbrok. Oh, is she gonna find out Athelstan is dead? Is there any mention of an English monk called Athelstan? If it is true, he should be caught and crucified. Pretending to be dead. <laughs> oh. How like our Ragnar. Yep. He has no news of our Athelstan. Our friend Athelstan lives on, both in Alfred and in you, Judith. Lidus Rollo e Anun. Lidus Rollo e Anun. Nun. <laughs> Nun. Divus Cinus Tri. Bezora Sui Rishas Ber. He's getting pissed. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Hello. It's not his fault. My goodness. Uh, there's the freaking bear. Uh oh. Oh, Bjorn. That's a grizzly. A grizzly? Aren't you supposed to just hightail it? Oh, no, wait. No. Grizzly, you're supposed to pretend to be dead, right? Well, it didn't attack him, so... Okay. <gasps> Is that alcohol? <laughs> oh no, is he gonna get drunk and then the guy's gonna come and he has to fight him drunk? Ooh, the Northern Lights. Oh, so pretty. I have a lot. That's on my bucket list. I want to go see the Northern Lights. <laughs> In person. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh god, Bjorn. Don't pass out drunk right there. Oh, he did. Oh, he's gonna freeze. There's the bear bear. It's not attacking him. I wonder why. I mean, I'm glad. I'm just curious why. Now tell me your name, said Thor. He stood up. And he shouted, My name is Harbard! Have you ever met Harbard? 
No. Not I. She has. Perhaps your mother has. Yep. We should eat. Is he going back now? I want to know how long he's been out there for. Oh, there's the bear. Oh, is he going to kill the bear? Bjorn, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Oh my god. How are you killing a freaking grizzly bear? It's huge. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I guess that works. Oh. Oh, that's crazy. He could hear him through the crows. Or the ravens, or whatever the hell they are. Oh, when he was little. He had a vision. It's okay, Ragnar. He's not dead. He just killed a bear. Kind of feel bad for the bear. I mean, I know it's not real, but I don't like to see animals die in shows or movies. No, he can't eat that. You have to eat it. You have to live. Ready, man? Raw meat? Yes, my lord. Good. Ready to host. Uh, are they gonna be like a thing now? I cannot believe Bjorn killed that fucking bear. I mean, he has meat for a very long time now, but he got hurt. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Uh. What is it, Ragnar? Is he having a vision? Again? Or is he, uh... No, I guess he's exploring... something. Something's going on. He is having a vision. Oh, yep, they're both having visions of him. Mercy. Oh. Mercy. Mercy for Floki. Got it. He's gone, Ragnar. No, no, don't, don't go. <sighs> At least we got to see him for a little bit. Shoot. Ugh, got me all teary eyed. <sighs> I believe Athelstan is dead. Yep. How do you know? He appeared to me. His image faded almost as soon as I saw it, and I knew then, I knew in my heart, that he was dead. <laughs> I loved him. 
So did I. This is Magnus. Magnus. Yes. This is Magnus. This is Maximus. The son of Ragnar Lothbrook. Did you hear about the latest exploits of Ragnar? No. Ragnar pretended to be dead and was carried into the city only to jump out of his coffin. I cannot believe Ragnar died. Ragnar Lothbrok is not no. dead. He is no ordinary mortal. Athelstan is dead. Why is that so important to you? Athelstan is the father of my child. When Aethelwolf found out, they cut off my ear as punishment. Aethelwolf, yes, come to me. Yep. I knew something was going to happen between them. Does Bjorn not have shoes? What are you doing, dude? Oh god, don't... Okay, you're gonna jump in there? No. Oh my god. Oh god, okay. He better not forget where the hole is. He's gonna release him, I think. Because of Ethelwolf. I mean, ugh, Ethelwolf. Ethelstan. You suffered enough, Helga. That's the end of that one. Ooh, my God. All right, friends, that's the end of that episode. Bjorn, Bjorn is nuts. I mean, I love it. I love it, but he's nuts. <laughs> I really thought that guy was going to come today, or today in this episode. I really thought the guy was going to come and, like, try to kill him while he was drunk or, you know, while he was injured. Um, but thank God he didn't. Thank God he didn't. But he is coming. So I hope Bjorn is prepared, is going to be prepared for whenever he does come. And I told you, I've been saying it, I've been saying it since the beginning. You can't trust what's-his-face. Can't trust him. Now, I'm, I'm honestly kind of shocked that Lagatha's boy toy, <laughs> I don't know, lover, um, what's his name? Shoot, Call? Is that his name? I'm so bad with names, as you guys probably know by now. But anyway, I'm kind of surprised that he's going along with the um, plan to kill Bjorn. Because he supposedly loves Lagatha. So why would he try to kill her son? That makes no sense to me. Unless, like I said... He loves her, but he doesn't love Bjorn, and he wants to get rid of Bjorn for whatever reason. Um, and he thinks that she'll never find out that it was him. So, I don't know. So that's interesting. I want to see how that plays out. I'm so glad we got like a little, a little snippet. <laughs> a little scene with Ethel Stan. Oh, I've missed him. I've missed him so much. Um, 
I'm really glad that we got to see him, even if it was for a couple seconds. And, you know, that they're kind of, they're still weaving him into the story through Ragnar um, and Judith a little bit because it, he played such a big part in Ragnar's life. And even though he's dead, he's still a huge part of Ragnar's life. So I'm really glad that they're still, you know, weaving Ethelstan's story in. And they didn't kind of just, you know, completely like cut him out of the show. Thank goodness. Um, of course, I would prefer it if he was still alive. Vikings people who wrote Vikings. But, you know, I'll take what I can get at this point. Any Ethelstan is good at this point. But yeah, so I knew as soon as Ethelstan told Ragnar, mercy, 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 that Ragnar, you know, obviously knew what it, what it meant to have mercy toward uh, Floki. And he did. He did at the end. He let him go. Now, I don't know what's going to happen now. I don't know if he's going to let them stay in Katakat um, and just kind of continue on with their lives. Or is he going to banish them to another area, another town or whatever? Because uh, he can't trust him, you know, and I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go, but for now, Floki is alive. He is not under um, arrest or whatever anymore. And uh, yeah, we'll see where that goes. So overall, great episode. I loved it. Um, oh, and Bjorn. Duh. Did I even talk about Bjorn yet? Oh yeah, I did. I talked about him in the beginning. Billy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm losing my train of thought here. Uh, but yeah, Bjorn, crazy. But yeah, I'm really hoping Bjorn makes it out alive, which I'm pretty sure he does. Okay, that's it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed and you enjoyed watching with me, please subscribe below. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you want to watch all the episodes of this show and every other show I'm watching and movies in full with me with no cuts, no edits, everything included, check out my Patreon below. And that's it. Thank you so much. And I will see you all on the next video. <laughs> Bye friends. Spare me Bye.